I got like rug burn on my arm near like four months ago and it's still freaking dark there. I think I got a scar from rug burn. What the hell is an arm knee? That thing. That's... That's a freaking elbow. What's the word for horny, but not in a sexual way? Like, I'm horny for Halloween, but I don't want to screw a pumpkin, you feel me? Do you, do you mean excited? Dude, imagine if you could screenshot real life. Camera. That thing you're talking about is a camera. Imagine if worms had legs. Centipedes. Today, I forgot the name for cauliflower, so I called it albino broccoli. That's actually not that far off. So we have an Italian exchange student in our school, and he and I were hanging out, and he saw a pony. He tried to show me, but he didn't know what it was called. So he just pointed at it and said, Look, the compressed horse! And then he just grinned at his complete understanding of the English language. That's precious. Dad just said, There should be a Netflix for books! Five minutes later, he shouted, <gasps> The library! I was talking to my boyfriend, and I was trying to describe a type of marine animal, but I couldn't think of its name, so I said, Sea pancake. Manta ray. Manta ray is the word I was looking for! I couldn't think of the word for tea, so I said England water. I just remembered that one time I was high and referred to Hamlet as the Fresh Prince of Denmark. What if snakes had tiny little arms and legs, like, oh my French god! So... Apparently those are called lizards. There are two types of people. I am literally the only one who commented on this. There should be like, feelings hookers. Like you hire one to come to your house and they sit there for an hour and listen to you cry about your life. Then afterwards you pay them a hundred bucks and then you never see each other again. How perfect would that be? That's a therapist. That's the thing you just described. Like for realsies. <laughs> Go get therapy.